Hi everyone, just around 28 days remaining from today to the NEET exam. Here are very very important thing that you must focus upon for getting the best result on the 5th of March 23. Please listen to me carefully and try to implement all of these things in the upcoming days. Before that talk, let's talk, understand self-belief and hard work for the next 28 days will really push you to the maximum limit that you ever have thought about and bring the best result out of you. So believe in yourself and listen to me what I'm actually saying up here. Let's understand how to under, take the best relation of the month February. Number one, please understand your Sundays. So you'll have Sunday on 12th, 19th, 22nd and 26th. Ensure that this 12th, 19th and 26th Sundays are utilized for giving a grand test. Why and how to give it? I'll talk about that. 22nd is one extra day. So I want all of you to give at least four grand tests starting from here till the 5th of March. Now, before I start with the grand test, let's give you a small schedule as to how you must realize the upcoming days also, okay? So here I, you know, differentiated all the days into adequate number of days for devising subjects. So I have anatomy, biochemistry, physiology, one and a half days each, path and pharma for two days, forensic medicine for one day, and microbiology for one and a half days. Ophthalm ENT for one day, PSM you should give two days. Medicine, surgery, gyne -ops and pediatrics, so three, 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 and one day, and Short subjects should be revised along with these. Okay, that is in the evening time. So one day for extra and along with that, you can also put take up radiology. Now how you must utilize your entire day. So listen to me again very carefully how you must use the days. Start getting up in the morning quite early. So get up at 7 a.m. in the morning. Please just don't sit up in your study table. First of all, motivate yourself. And the best way of motivating yourself is to just do a small exercise, do some breathing exercises, very, very important. And do ensure you first get freshened up and then sit at the study table, okay? From 10, from 7 to 10 a.m., this is the most important time where I want all of you to just revise the previous day read subjects and topics. That is very, very important. The short revision glance will really, really help you to understand that and make the entire day very, very beautiful. Next, you have a breakfast and then from 10 to 1.30, again, you have around a two and a half hours of good amount of time where you will read that subject that given to you in the previous schedule, okay? You take a lunch break, but don't take a very, you know, a very rich carbohydrate diet. Just take a high really rich uh, protein diet and uh, a little fatty can be helpful because uh, carbohydrate as such will make you very lazy and you won't be able to use the day, day as you want to. Now, 2 to 5 p.m., you have the second slot where you again try to cover the subject in according to our schedule. And then from 6 to 9, again, you have one more time slot to cover that particular schedule that we have given in the previous topic. Now, between this two, there's one hour left. Please go out, take some fresh air. Don't be you know, captive in that small room you're studying again and again. Just, just go out, have some fresh air, deep breathing exercises are very, very important. Go out and enjoy the nature, discuss with your friends and have a tea of cup and coffee. But that one uh, hour break is really important. I want you all to have this, okay? Then have a light dinner. And then from 10 to 12, you have to and have to solve previous year questions. And along with that, if possible, just read the notes of the PYQ topics also, if it is possible for you. But this should be a daily exercise. You should not change this. By this way, you can at least devote 12 and a half hours for the upcoming days, which will really motivate you to get best, best result upcoming, okay? Now comes the question, sir, what I must do and what I must avoid? Number one, notes. This one thing you must do, okay? Since you've read this, you believed on this, please don't leave your notes at all, okay? Don't change and change your resources. Stick to the same notes, but read it again, 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 and again, okay? Then second thing is previous year questions. Many students are still have not covered the PYQs. But why are you doing this? See, 30% of the question will cover from the PYQs only. So ensure you have done your complete PYQ and also the notes. Do not leave PYQs. Please understand this. High yielding questions. See, while teaching any notes from the notes, all the faculty tells us this is very, very important. And I'm very sure you might have marked this by highlighting point or you marked it as a question mark point. This is the right time to just go through those topics very, very importantly. Question bank revision. So I'm not sure how many have actually have bookmarked the questions, but if you've done this from the previous apps, ensure you go through these questions also. Do not leave this. It is your own effort you have put into. If you don't revise it right now, everything will go into waste. Please use your time for revising the question bank also. And then comes a very, very important GT. Unless you are not practicing well, you cannot, cannot even think of getting the best result out of it. So please ensure you give a GT from 9 o'clock to 12 o'clock, number one. In this GT, just divide your entire time into two hours, then 45 minutes, 
and then for 5 minutes in the first 2 hours in the first 2 hours try to ignore all the long questions just go through all the questions that you actually are confident about okay in the next 45 minutes 45 minutes just go to those questions which you have not read so just read those questions which you have not read in the first part and the next 45 minutes just remark those questions which are marked for review or in which you have a bit you know doubt as to whether you're able to make this correct or not by this way you try to increase your score from say 170 to 190 that's very very important in the neat exam if you're not giving our attempts to 190 plus you're not in the race even so try to practice it right now Are tukka baji karo and then look come back and see how many of the tukka actually got correct or not but do that do not leave that okay next try to take care of your health do not go out in the right time and just start whatever you want to Please ensure that you are healthy, you eat a healthy lifestyle, you eat healthy food right now and just don't go out and eat ice cream. A single bad day of sore throat or a fever will not help your cause. So please take care of your health. Relax and meditate. If you're not feeling well, you're getting anxious what will happen to the exam, please go out, do some deep breathing exercises. Ek dam deep breathe lena hai, five to six times. And just when you go out, leave your mobile phone in your in the study room. Don't take your mobile phone also because that is one of the biggest reasons of you getting very, very anxious. Guys, I'm always there for you. Just ensure that you give your best in the upcoming days. You are really made for this. Ensure ki aap apne confident rakho and tell yourself, yes, I can do it. And that will help you to motivate you to achieve the best result in the coming days, coming up to the 5th of March 23. Let me know if you need anything else. I'll surely come up with a better way or better plan, whatever you want to. Take care. Best wishes for the upcoming exams.